Hello folks. Practicing social distancing of course. I'm at the store today. It's a Saturday and typically we do fly tying on Saturdays so I will do a fly tying vid and post it on YouTube. The hook I'm using today is a Maruto SS1930 number 8. Lovely, lovely strong hook. We like them. And we're going to be tying a, a fly from a local fly tying legend, Art Limber, the candy. So pink candy. Going to be wrapping the hook with fluorescent pink UTC 140. The tail material is going to be a synthetic hair, a wig hair that we use, we like. You can be using lots of different materials, but I like the diameter and density of it and the sheen. I really like the sheen on this material. We don't want to put a lot on, as you can see. I got this zoomed in pretty good so you can see all this. So basically what I've done is I've just uh, uh, wrapped the body with the mylar, or with the thread, and next will be the mylar. And I'm going to be using uh, fluorescent uh, UTC tinsel, hollow tinsel. And you can use any number. What I have on hand is uh, medium. So we're going to wrap the body. Make a body so that it looks like a, a fishy fishy. Now I like the head to be a little bit larger than the body. I would make it look like a torpedo, which is a fish shape. There we are. Nice and tight. There we are. Nice and tight. And on top of the mylar, once I get that put in where I want it, I'm going to top this off with pink fluorescent golf resin. I want to continue this theme of pink. And then we're going to be using some stoneful eyes. 2.5 millimeter stoneful eyes. I'm going to continue building that head a little bit. Hey, you can see I'm building the head slightly. It's okay. You can keep forcing your tail as you as you have to. Now as a matter of fact. <laughs> We're done with the thread. So, I will just whip finish a couple times. I want to keep building that head. There we are. I did a, a video the other day on whip finishing so you can see how I practice it. Golf fluorescent pink. We will top it off later with uh, golf Thin Man. For now, I'm going to put a little bit on before the eyes. There we are. That actually turned out perfect. And I'm using the new Golf Hero 5 watt light. Whoa. <laughs> Pretty crazy stuff. Yes, that quick. Now I'm going to stick on a couple of eyes. And I'm going to be using the stone foam. I won't be using the fluorescent uh, colors. The ones I'm going to be using the the hollow uh, lure eyes. And again, 2.5 millimeter. Just the right size for this, this fly. Now these little buggers are hard, hard, hard to position. Not that bad. Oh, that's pretty sexy. <laughs> Only a fly tire would call a fly sexy. <sighs> I 
I'll move that down so they're even. There we are. A little more down. I don't want it to look. I don't want it to look like a raptor. I want it to look like a metal pattern. There. Now, what I usually will do is I will stick a little bit of Thin Man on just to hold the eyes. Ah, there we are. Just a bit. Ticking around and you're always going to... You're always going to have a possibility of screwing around with those eyes. Thin man. Now with the thin man, the nice thing about it is it's brushable, and you can you can spread it on your your uh, body of your fly as much as you want to make it nice and thin, thick, however big you can build a big body, all sorts of stuff. And you might want to have a pin around. Ooh, yes, there we are. Now that's what I wanted. Just a little bit of translucence on the bottom. There we are. <laughs> I want to double check both sides. That is it. Look out, pink salmon and coho. Here we come. Now, this is fluorescent, this color. So, underwater, the fish are going to spot this quite quickly. And there you go, folks. Art Limbers, Pink Candy.